Hello everyone, I'm Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. Your industrial automation service center drives, motors, controls, we do it all. If you have any questions, make sure you pick up the phone and call. Today, we are going to be covering a new product for us. It's actually not a brand new product in the marketplace. It's an Invertec drive. We're very excited to cover these drives because they come in both the NEMA 1 enclosure and a NEMA 4X washdown duty for indoor and outdoor use. So today we're going to be covering the input uh, power wiring as well as the motor wiring. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so on the NEMA 4X drive, we do have to take this faceplate off of the drive initially in order to do any kind of wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and use my screwdriver and unscrew the left screw and the right screw. Now, you don't need to take the screw completely out. Once you've basically reached the point of it coming out, you'll see it kind of fall out. And then we will completely remove the cover. What you'll see here on the left-hand side, this is where the incoming voltage comes in. Now, so you can run your wires through here, you're going to want to unscrew this cap down here at the bottom, which will loosen the area the wires come through. And then you'll run your wires comfortably through to the incoming terminals. The incoming terminals are L1, L2 slash neutral, and L3. Since this is a single phase only drive, I'm only bringing L1 and L2, or my neutral, in to power the drive. I'm gonna leave L3 open. Once I've actually ran those wires and landed them, I'm gonna screw this terminal knob closed and then that will tighten these wires. It'll also keep water and dust from getting in there. Now the IP20 uh, doesn't actually have this screw terminal on it because the terminals are already exposed. You, you don't even need to take the cover off because the IP20 already has everything exposed. So once we're done with our incoming power, we're gonna go over to our, our outgoing power to the motor. Now you'll notice there's three terminals for the motor wiring. We have U, V, and W. Each one of these is going to be wired to one of the phases of the motor. The drive does not care which phase you wire to which terminal. So as long as you just bring your three wires in, you'll run them into UV and W. And then if you have a motor ground, which we should, this particular demo doesn't, but we'll run that ground right to this ground lug in the back. Once we've done the input power and the output power, we can comfortably turn on the drive. Now, if you are running an IP20 version of this drive, that's the one that doesn't have the built-in switch, the, pop, the forward reverse switch, you actually need to place a jumper between one and two for the keypad to work. It's very important because it's a very common request we get. You can't, basically you can't use the start button on the, on the drive itself until you've actually put a jumper between one and two. That is your drive enable. Once you're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and test our incoming power. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. And we are going to close it up. I'm not gonna close it up all the way just for the sake of brevity. And then for the NEMA 4X drive, we're actually going to turn this. And then I actually have to close my fuse block here because I actually made sure to show you guys that I had a fuse block. And we're gonna go ahead and close it here. And then we have incoming power. What's cool about this drive too is if you got the NEMA 4X one right out of the box, you can turn the switch forward, you can change the speed with this speed pot, and you can actually turn the switch right back and it'll actually go in reverse without changing any parameters at all, without having any jumpers in there. Now in the IP20 unit, obviously you don't have that onboard switch and that onboard speed pot, so you will actually have to put a jumper in there for the IP20 unit. So this covers the basic input and uh, output wiring of this variable frequency drive. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You just bring in your incoming power and then you're wiring directly to the motor. If you've got the NEMA 4X, you can just use the selector switches to get going right away. But in the next video, we're gonna cover actual parameter setup so that we can run this drive from the keypad. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.